Hey guys! In this video, I'll be giving some quick updates that were currently released about the AP Computer Science A exam for the 2020 administration. I took the exam in 2018 as a freshman, so I will not be taking this newer version. However, after many requests from my friends and classmates, I thought I would create a quick presentation that provides the most important information to take into account when studying for this new AP exam. As many of you might already know, many of the AP exams this year are being updated into new formats in order for students to be able to take the exam at home due to the effects of the coronavirus and quarantine. First, I would highly recommend always checking out the College Board website where they have outlined all the changes they have made to all the AP exams in depth, from the new testing dates all the way to understanding what the new formats are for each of the exams. This website is basically a treasure trove of information to help you best prepare for this year's exam, and the link will be provided in the description of this video, as well as next to this video on my website. So what are the specific changes made to the AP exams? Well, for all AP exams this year, there are only 45 minutes of two FRQs, which means no multiple choice and no three hour long exams. College Board has said that you'll be able to either type in your responses into your digital devices or handwrite it and upload an image or scan of your work. For the AP Computer Science exam, the College Board has noted that while using an IDE or integrated development environment to run your code is absolutely not required for the exam, if you have one that you have been practicing with, you may use it. However, the College Board has also emphasized that there is no advantage for having an IDE. For the new AP Computer Science A, exam, your first and second FRQs will be modified more open-ended versions of FRQ number three and number one from previous administrations, respectively. According to the College Board course and exam description, FRQ three deals with arrays and array lists, asking students to write code that deals with creating, manipulating, and traversing through only one-dimensional arrays or array list objects. However, FRQ one deals with methods and control structures asking you to create objects and call methods to satisfy specifications given within the questions. Each question will have multiple parts like any other FRQ, and both questions will make sure that you are able to employ expressions, conditional statements, and iterative statements in order to solve for the requirements presented in each question. You will only have 25 minutes to answer question one, which is worth 65% of your final grade, with five minutes to upload your answer. You will then have another 15 minutes to answer question two, which is worth 35% of your grade, with another five minutes to upload your answer. Therefore, you technically have 15 minutes to take and complete this exam. However, after you have uploaded your response for question one, you cannot go back and answer it while on question two. So be sure to take each question one at a time and focus on the next task that is given to you. As you may have already noticed, the content on this year's AP exam was cut in order to fit with the various learning modules that students had stopped before their classes had moved online. It is expected that students would have reached at least to Unit 7 on array lists. Therefore, Units 8, 9, and 10 had been cut from this year's exam, with these slides providing more information on what those units had covered. While you may not be expected to know these topics for this year, it is still important to be able to learn more about 2D arrays, inheritance, and recursion in order to get a better understanding and proficiency in Java. The units I have bolded and italicized represent what videos I have made already cover so far, and I'll be making more videos regarding the other computer science concepts in the coming weeks. Just last week, I made an introductory video to recursion, and I have an AP Computer Science A playlist that covers advanced concepts from interfaces and array lists to Java essentials like getters and setters, while and do while loops, and Java naming conventions. Likewise, the College Board is currently having free online classes through YouTube that are happening live, with previous sessions already recorded in case you're interested in more resources to help you prepare for this new exam structure and format, with those links also provided in the description and on my website. I hope this video helps you to learn more about the updates to this year's AP Computer Science A exam and provided resources to help you study for this year's exam.